They tell me that I'm never gonna make it They want me to do something that can make sense King Harold, King's Roulette, King's Club We're coming back for a second session Because we got a conference call from the attorneys That have put together a basic framework For release of keys to the kingdom And just so everybody knows The keys to the kingdom was not put together For them to view It was just in the framework of we have an intellectual property that is going to shake up the universe if it hits the open market. How do we restrict it to the people that we care about and make it their responsibility to guard it as carefully as they can? And how can we shackle that to our people so that they do that very thing? That's what the attorneys have been working on. They have uh, released now to me. Uh, a basic framework. So we're going to release the information to you in two parts. The first part is going to be at the end of this video, and this is why we're doing a part two, to give you a little bit of a show uh, to follow up Stan's wonderful job that he did uh, with, the, with the first one that we put out. We're going to, we're going to play one now, and then I'm going to make uh, some information available to you as far as the basic framework. But we'd be remiss if we didn't remember that today is Dr. King's Day. And I remember very clearly the I Have a Dream speech. As some of you are too young to know about it, but you might have read about it. But one of the key components of the I Have a Dream speech is, is important to me today because he had a dream that there would be one day where people would be judged by not by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Well, I have a dream tonight, particularly after hearing from the attorneys and the steps that I can see forward right now that are beginning to materialize that I can see them. I have a dream that at least 1,000 kings will live in a nation, their home nation, where they will not be judged by their station in life, but by the content of their intellectual property that they hold themselves. That's what I have a dream of tonight. And on this Martin Luther King Day, we're going to move forward with King's column, Fibonacci 2246-1016, Recovery with D'Alembert on King's columns. We're going to play at columns beginning at 40 in $20 increments. And we are going to begin with Fibonacci, a $2 wager on column 3. We're looking, we're looking to make three hundred dollars out of a two thousand dollar bankroll. We're gonna stay right there for a four dollar bet. I think I just jumped to one, but that's all right. We'll go to a $4 bet on uh, column one. Kind of a little reboot right now. And there's an intersection for an $8 win. Resets us to the $2 bet on column three. And a $2 bet on column one. Go up there for a $4 bet, column three. And we'll stay up there with a $6 bet. $2,000 bankroll, $300 profit is the goal from today. And then, keys to the kingdom update. We're going to go to $10 bet on column two. And an intersection. Gives us a $2 bet, column 2, because of the 23 being in the second dozen.
We'll stay there with the two dollar bet. And we'll go to a four dollar bet on column two. And a six dollar bet, column one. It's all random. Ten dollar bet, column one. And we'll go to the top of the heap of Fibonacci with a $16 bet on column one. And now we're going to go to a Bear recovery with a $40 bet on column one and column three. And there is the recovery. Puts us back at a $2 bet on column one. You hit that very first of 40 and 40 bet on D'Alembert and you have recovered. We're going to repeat that $2 bet on column one. And an intersection there. Two dollar bet on column three. And a two dollar win. Four dollar win from the two dollar bet in column three with a twenty one. Second dozen moves us to second column. Entry level Fibonacci. Two dollars column one. And we'll go to four dollars, column three. And six dollars, column one. With an intersection there. That gives us a two dollar bet on column two. And it repeated that bet. Four dollars. Column one. Intersection there. Two dollars, column three. And repeat that bet. Two dollars, column three. The thirty-five. And an intersection there with the second Fibonacci level. Puts us back to start again. Fibonacci. Column one. Move it to column two. And a win. Um, as you can see, we're playing Fibonacci up to the sixth bullet. And this is the power of Fibonacci is that you don't get that deep all that often. It's just when you do get that deep, it's tragic. We've only been in D'Alembert recovery once so far. So we've been hitting Fibonacci before the sixth bullet for the most part. So we're going to bet $6 here on... Column two, 
And so that shows you the power of Fibonacci. But still, I'm very happy with this hybrid that we have here. I think it's something that we can uh, certainly live with. We'll go to $10 here on column two. Um, but we're going to continue to test it out as we do on, on all things. This is your money at risk. You don't, you don't, we don't put money up lightly. We take it very seriously how we do these things. And we're getting to the top of it again now. We're going to have a $16 bet. And I'll just click it up like this on column two. And we could be back in Dell and Bear again. Let's see what this one brings us. And a 32 is a six bullet win with Fibonacci for $32. And that puts us on a $2 bet. Again, this is the power of Fibonacci is that you you win most of the time during the first six bets. And thankfully, because you don't want to get to the seventh one, as you guys all well know, you've been there. But you're watching it here in demonstration mode. I mean, it's kind of like uh, crawling up a hill because we're playing at such low, safe numbers. But on the other hand, you got to respect your money, and that's what we're doing. We're, we're, we're respecting the money and what we're doing. The same way when I hit the $60 win in the casino, I take the money and go. It's 60. It's 60 more than I had. And so you respect the money. Most of the people in the casino do not respect the money. They're given the chips and they throw them around like they're all millionaires and then they all go broke and go home. I see it all the time. You see it too. You've seen it in your own life. This is how you do it is you respect the money. You play it this way very seriously. Take your profit. Go home. Feel good about yourself. That's a 17. That's in column two. That is an intersection and a win. We'll stay right there for a $2 bet. We're at $44. Shooting for 300 Creeping our way up. And there's another one. Fibonacci delivering. We're going to stay right there. $2 bet. So I'd stay here and pick up $2 over and over and over. You'd be very happy. Just like that. I'd say if there were $2 bills strewn all around your front yard and you could just walk out and pick them up. And you're just walking out and picking them up, walking out and picking them up. At what point would you say, I'm tired of picking up $2 bills. I think I'm going to go inside and take a nap. I don't know. You might stay out there a little bit longer. I know I would. Let's bet $2 on column one because of that five. And there's an intersection. We'll go to the top $2, column three. And column one. Column two for the eighteen. That was a good correction right there, wasn't it? I was almost on the wrong column. We'll go to a $2 bet up there on column three. But you bounce back and forth sometimes. It's, a, it's just an administrative error looking at these things. There's the intersection right away up there on column three. $2. We've gone over 60 now. Column two. Four dollar bet. Column two. We'll go to six. And a $10 bet on column two. Is an intersection on the $10 bet. That's an 11, so we'll start Fibonacci again 
on column one. And again, Fibonacci, you have six bullets, and most of the times you win in the six bullets. Here's another one right off the top with the seven. We'll repeat that bet and go back in. And you want to win within the six bullets because you don't want to go to the seventh one, and you actually don't even want to go to Dell and Bear Recovery if you can avoid it. Um, because you'd like just to chug right along making your money. That's what we're giving you. We're giving you an algorithm that's a holistic thing that you can play all the way around and, and make your money and follow every tenet, every one of them. And the bankroll is the one most forgotten and yet it's the most important. Because the bankroll is what stands between you and having some fun. Well, we're not here for fun. We're here for making money professionally. We're at the top $6 bet. Column three. We're going to go to $10 bet on column two. And we're going to reach the top of that Fibonacci scale at $16. We're going to be on column three. If we lose this one, we go to Dell and Bear at 40. But we did not lose the six bullet win, the $32 win, and the $2 bet on column one. We're at $80. And a repeat of the entry level fib column two. Four dollars down there. And six dollars. Twenty one is an intersection up there for six dollars. Puts us on a two dollar bet, column two. And a $4 bet, column three. And an intersection there at $6. On the 26, because it's a $2 bet, column three. Restarting. Moving to column one, passing $90 in profit. And the intersection there. And we'll bet two dollars on column two. We're gonna repeat that bet. And there's an intersection at thirty six. Two dollar bet, column three. And we have crossed the $100 mark. And as we do that, we go down to column one. And I would ask the question, at what point so far have you been really nervous and stressed? 
or are you just bored making this money, climbing and climbing? Is it has it gotten to the point to where it's just old hat, we're going to make money, we're going to go? That's good. Be like that. Because for the first time in your life, you're going to be walking into casinos and just making money. And that's what we want for you. Because that's what nobody does. Take note of it in the casinos. Watch who's actually cashing out chips and going home. Nobody. That's who. I want you to be the guy. Everyone, but everyone in the kingdom wins every time. There's an intersection. It was 5.55 this morning that I was in the casino because I wanted to make a live video. I'm almost the only one there. There's some guys over at the crap table, some guys at Blackjack. There were a few at the analog wheel. But I was by myself at the electronic wheel. And so... I decided to show the money that we had won. I showed the ticket, showed the money, went to the went to the ATM and got it out. The whole point being, management knew who I was. They knew where I was. They knew how much money they had paid me. And so me putting it on the machine to show you meant nothing. It was just 60 bucks. The discipline of saying 60 bucks is enough. I've won 60 bucks and I'm going home now and making the video for the kingdom. That was the whole point of it. But trust me, everything goes on in there. Everybody knows. The, the point about humility is about not talking to other people around you. Leave them to their own devices. Don't shout. Don't look like anything. And there was nobody there to watch me. If there had been a crowd there, I wouldn't have done that way. But I did it for the kingdom so you'd see that this was what we had won. Real money played in a machine by your king. Not seen anywhere else. Do you see the dealer school from Las Vegas doing it? Do you see Jack Hayes doing it? Do you see Roulette Master doing it? Putting their money down? Go ahead, I'm listening. It wasn't a rhetorical question. Your king does it. And your king does it because you asked me to. When you ask me to, I take it very seriously of what you, just what you say. I get tons of emails all day and into the night. I'm handling them and responding as genuinely as I can to everybody, because every one of you counts. Every one of you matters. And I'm trying to make sure that I do the right thing by you. Always trying to be respectful and humble about what we're doing and what we're putting out. We're going to go to column three now with a $4 bet. We're moving toward 300 under control. Always want the Fibonacci to work out, though. You you don't want to have to go to recovery, but you do have to go sometime. And there's the $6 bet that uh, came up short. We're going to go to $10 right there. <clears throat> Fibonacci. And now we got a $16 bet right there on column two. We lose this, we go to Dell and Bear Recovery. And we're gonna have to do it. Here we go. Dell and Bear. Let's go to forty dollar recovery on columns one and three because of the twenty five being the odd number, we're playing two columns, Dell and Bear Recovery. And there is the French Physicist, engineer, mathematician delivering for us as we go back to the Italian mathematician, Fibonacci. And a $2 bet on column two. And an intersection puts us down on column one with $2 bet. Column one.
The 16 puts us on column two. We're at a $10 bet, the fifth bullet of Fibonacci. <clears throat> and we're going to go all the way to the top for the $16 sixth bullet, Fibonacci. Need something divisible by three to line up with that third column right here. And there it is. All it takes is one. The sixth bullet was the one. Wasn't the third time wasn't the charm. It was kind of like the sixth, I guess. Sometimes you gotta go longer. Four dollar bet, column three. $6 column too bad. We'll go down to column one for the $16 sixth bullet bet. We lose this, we go back to Dell and Bear. And we do. And Dell and Bear calls for a $40 bet on columns one and two as we try to recover. $40, columns one and two, Dell and Bear, $20 increments. Won't be needed. Immediate recovery. Back to $2 bet Fibonacci, column three. Immediate intersection. Pick up a nice little $4 there. And we repeat that entry level bet at column three. We're $130. We stay right there, $2 bet, column three, second level, Fibonacci. $4 bet on column one, because of the eight. There's the intersection for $8. We go to $2 up there on column three. <clears throat> Four dollar bet, column three. And a six dollar bet. Column two. And a ten dollar bet. Column two. For the sixteen being in the second dozen. And we're going to go to a sixteen dollar bet up top. Column three, $16. Sixth bullet, Fibonacci, here we go. And we actually are going to need a spin here because of the zero. Got to have some place to go with this $40 Delambert. And it says it's an 18, so that's an even number. So we have $40, columns one and two. And there's immediate recovery column one. And we go back to $2 bet column one because of the seven being in the first dozen. Four 
Four dollar win. Moves to column one. Stays there. Intersection. And another moves to column two. Intersection. Love to see those intersections. When randoms colliding with lamp randoms, it just is so rewarding to see it. It's kind of like seeing four twos come up in a row and watching those other big time guys running roulette channels telling you, we're going to bet against this and we're going to bet against that. You can't bet against anything. Nothing ever to bet against. There's only things to bet for. Bet for the random numbers you have and we'll oppose the random numbers of the wheel that we assign to them. Because we're actually in charge. We're deciding what's what. Six dollars up on column three. We'll stay up there for ten. And there's an intersection for ten dollars. It moves us down to the beginning Fibonacci, $2. We're at $150. Going for 300 We're at 150 And we got a repeat of the entry-level Fibonacci up there on column three. $2 bet. There's an intersection for $6. That's a $12 win. The 13 moves us to the entry-level Fibonacci on column two. $2 bet. An intersection for $2. They're on... Column one of the 34 number, which of course is in the third dozen, moves us to the entry level bet up there on column three, an immediate intersection there for another $4 win, puts us back on column one, and now we go to column three. Oops, that was a mistake actually. I should have been on column two, and that would have been a win, my mistake. So we go to a $4 bet. If you make mistakes in the tango, you just tango on. That's what you do. $6 bet. Column two. Ten dollar bet, column two. And we're staying right there with the sixteen dollar top of the ladder Fibonacci bet. Sixteen dollars on column two. And now we'll go to a forty dollar. Columns one and three, attempting to recover here with Dylan Bear. Columns one and three, forty dollar bet, and there is a recovery with the nine. That's top of the ladder there. 
and puts us back with a $2 bet on column one. And we repeat that bet, $2. And there's an intersection, which moves us to a $2 bet on column two. And six dollars up there. There's an intersection for six dollars and keeps us there for the two dollar bet restarting. Second level Fibonacci still delivers to $2 there. We go to $2 bet up on column three for the 28. And there's a win right away. Moves us to column two. We're gonna stay right there at column two. Second level Fibonacci, $2 bet, column two. And we'll stay right there for a $4 bet from the 15. $4 bet, column two. And there is a collision for $4, $8 win, $2 bet, column three, because of the 32. And we're going to repeat that bet, second level, $2 bet. The 22 moves us to a $4 bet on column two. And a $6 bet. And we'll go to a $10 bet on column two. And there's an intersection and a $20 win and a restart with a $2 bet on column two. And we'll go to two dollars in column three. Four dollar bet, column two. And there's a nice little intersection for eight dollars. We'll restart on column one with two dollars. And a two dollar bet column two. Eleven puts us back on column one entry level.
They were out there for six dollars. And for a ten dollar bet, column three. And a sixteen dollar bet, column three. Random on display there. Back-to-back -back zeros, never flinching, never blinking. Stare into the abyss, unblinking, no reason to change. We've got random numbers. $16 bet, the sixth bullet. No big deal for the kingdom. We just keep marching right along. Four dollar bet column one because of the nine. I'm going to stay right there for the top of the Fibonacci $16 bed. Column 2. Go to D'Alembert to try to recover this. We'll be going to forty dollar bets on columns one and three. There's an immediate recovery. Put this back on two dollar bet on column one. And a four dollar win puts us on column two for two dollars. We've passed the two hundred dollar mark. We're at two oh two. We stay there for two dollars. <clears throat> Go to two dollar bet column one. And a four dollar bet. As a winner, That should be a winner right there. We'll stay there with restarting Fibonacci right there in column two because of the 23. Holds us right there. And back to back 23s for those of you probable people. Just lost a small fortune saying that couldn't happen. It could happen again. It's random. Okay, not a 23, a 32. That's kind of the same for a dyslexic guy, but it still was a winner since 23 and 32 both reside in the second column. We restart Fibonacci $2 up in the third column. Go 
and forward a little bit, column one. Intersection, win, two dollars, column three. Repeat that bet, two dollars, column two. Go to four dollars on column one. Staying on column one, we're going to move up to six dollar bet. And an intersection occurs for $12. Keeps us there on column one for a $2 bet. Restart. And an immediate win. And a repeat bet. And a win. Two dollars, column three. Column one, two dollar bet. There you go, four dollars on column two. That's a ten dollar loss, so now we're at sixteen dollars on column three, top of the Fibonacci chain for us, anyway. Six bullets that's all we do. Now we got to go to try to recover with Dellen Bear, and we'll have a forty dollar bet on columns one and two because of the four to try to recover. And there is a recovery. And a return to a one dollar, two dollar bets, column three. And there's an intersection. Two dollar bet, column two. Repeat that bet, column bet. Column two, two dollar bet, second level Fibonacci. We're gonna to go to a four dollar bet on the top. Third column. And six dollars right there. Ten dollars down on column one. And we're going to have a sixteen dollar bet on column two. Sixteen dollar bet, column two. Twenty nine is an intersection. And a win at the sixth bullet. And a two dollar bet. Column three. And a repeated bet on column two for two dollars. And an intersection.
moves us to a four dollar bet there, column two, for the 21 second dozen. We're going to do six dollars right there. Column two. Moving to column one for ten dollars. And intersection for ten dollars, twenty dollar win keeps us there for two. Off the four, first dozen number. We're over two fifty. There's a twenty five, picks up another win. Go to two dollars on column three. And a repeat of two dollar bet on column two. Four dollars. Wins. Two dollars. We're at two sixty, as you can see. Winds up there and goes right back down to the first column for two dollar. Stays there. Two dollar bet. That's a winner there with the ten. Stays there. Two dollar bet. And a two dollar bet up there on column three. And that's a winner. Repeats that bet. Entry level Fibonacci two dollars. First level. Moves the two dollar bet to column two. And that is an intersection. And a move back to a $2 bet column three. And we have crossed the 270 threshold. And we'll stay there on column three. And there is a two. That is the winner. Two dollar bet column one. Another winner. Two dollar bet column one. Four dollar bet. Column one. Six dollars. And ten. Staying there for the $16 bet. We're going to go to recovery now. A $40 bet on columns 1 and 2. Trying to recover. And we are going to go to a $60 bet.
De La Bear, Column 3. We've not covered yet, so we'll go to 40 on columns 1 and 2. And we go to 60, columns 1 and 2, even number 36. And we go to 40, columns 1 and 3. And we go to 20, columns 1 and 3. And we stay at 20, columns 1 and 2. I think I made a mistake there, but... Okay, we're still at 20, columns 1 and 2. Even numbers keeps us there. And forty dollars. Columns one and two. That's a sixty dollar bet. Columns one and three. And that is a forty dollar bet. Columns one and three. And that is a sixty dollar bet. Columns one and three. Because it's random it doesn't matter. That's a $40 bet, columns one and two. Trying to recover. And that, we're not at sufficient profit, so we keep it $40 on columns one and three. That's the one at column three. And we're going to repeat that bet. Columns one and three. And we go to 60. Columns one and two. And we go to 80, columns 1 and 3, and we go to 100, columns 1 and 2. And we go to 120, columns 1 and 2. And we go to 100, columns 1 and 3. And we go to 80, columns 1 and 2. 
columns one and two. And we go to 60. Columns one and three. And then we go to 40. Columns one and three. And we stay at 40, columns 1 and 3. And we stay at 40, columns 1 and 3. $60, columns 1 and 3. And eighty dollars columns one and three. Sixty dollars columns one and two. And forty dollars columns one and two. And forty dollars columns one and two. And forty dollars columns one and three. And forty dollars columns one and two. And sixty dollars columns one and three. Forty dollars. One and two. Sixty dollars. Columns one and two. And forty dollars. One and three. Sixty dollars, one and three. And forty. And forty dollars, one and two. Forty dollars, one and three. And forty dollars, one and three. And a recovery at two eighty. Never feared. You, this is staring into the abyss on blinking. I got all that. But the thing about it is it really doesn't matter. We know 
we're going to play two dollars here on column one. We know when you're playing Delam Bear with two columns, you know how much of a fight you're in if you get down, but you never have fear because it's going to come back, and so you just go ahead and go with it the same way we did. Two dollars on column two. And that's a four dollar bet, column two. Six dollar bet up there. And stay up there for a two dollar bet. And one more time. Ten dollars. And that is a two dollar bet on column three. And a two dollar bet on column two. Two dollar bet, column three. There is three hundred dollars. Okay, so you toughed it out a long time to get there, but never was there any questions or doubt about anything. I think you can come to that conclusion. That's the kind of thing that came from the attorneys today, the trying to resolve the questions and the doubts of this is keys to the kingdom that you have reported to us, King Harold, as being a watershed moment. It's got to be guarded as such. It's going to be so. They're putting together the final framework of it that I'm going to present to you, in which there's going to be a thousand kings that are going to get keys to the kingdom. And there are going to be ways that we can take care of it, that we can be secretive of it, that we can pledge to one another with NDAs and ways to go forward. And everything from that moment on, will be offered to anyone as we go forward, along with everything else we're going to do. I have uh, been given kind of a, a goofy thing, given a uh, come up with who's going to win the NFL games. So there were six of them. We won five out of six. If we'd been betting the way we would have, would have bet, it was a $1,200 win. I don't know one thing about the NFL. It doesn't matter. You don't need to know. If you're in the kingdom, you don't need to know the details about a bet. All you have to know is, how are you going to keep it random, and how are you going to schedule your bet? What sequence of numbers? And you will win. I don't care what the bet is, and we're going to help you as we go along with that. We also have others out there in the kingdom that are submitting some, uh, some of their own ways of playing that we're going to want to show you, but we're going to be more importantly focused on keys of the kingdom as we come back out with it and deliver it to you as we have promised we would. Everything that gets hung up with lawyers, you know how that is. But they are doing their job. And nobody in the kingdom is paying these guys that $700 an hour for that work. The king's paying them. And we're going to make sure that we're all protected and that we all go forward. This is Martin Luther King Day. This is a great day to be thinking about the freedoms, thinking about the ways that we can go forward, the ways that we can be judged by the content of our character. And know that adversity reveals character. 
It doesn't build it. 